Hi everyone, in this video you will explore a revolutionary structural detailing software. Proto Details boosts your productivity by providing you with automated RC detailing, effortless sheet management, manual drafting, enhanced DWG support, and its expanding engineering macro library. The magic starts in the proto structure. You model, analyze, and design your model. Then, you transfer the structural model to Proto Details and save hundreds of drafting time. Before the user interface, let me describe the advantages of the Proto Details. With this industry leading software, you can do these create automatic detail and general arrangement drawings, produce quantity takeoff and reinforcement schedules, manage the sheets using multiple files. Create and modify structural details rapidly with intelligent objects and templates. Run component design and detailing. Export your files in the latest versions of industry standard CAD formats. As always, with the ProtoStructure suite, you have the total control. Utilizing the Settings Center in the Prada Structure ribbon menu or the Options tab in the Prada Details interface, you can manage all the general settings of the Prada Details. Let's check it out now. In the Prada Details Environment tab here, we have the display settings for starters. You can choose the color of every element of the drawing window, or you can simply elect a theme from the drop down menu. By changing the curve resolution value, you can change the arc and circle smoothness. The higher the value, the smoother the curve becomes. Also, you can check the box here to toggle on the grips to edit the size or shape of an entities without entering any edit commands. The next page consists of the mouse control settings in Proto Details. Here, you can enable text editing when double-clicking on freestanding text objects. By checking this box, you can enable the access of shortcut menu by right-clicking on the drawing area. Lastly, you can utilize the right click for multiple purposes, short click instead of pressing the enter button, and a longer click to display the shortcut menu. You can define this time for the longer click. Next, we have a page controlling the line weight settings in Proto Details. By the way, you can choose not to display line weight as well. Like any other drawing software, you have options for object snap in Proto Details as well. You can also select the modes to allow the points on the objects to be displayed. Last but definitely not the least, on this page, you can change the language of reports and drawings which are automatically generated by the software. Additionally, you can control the member move step so that any highlighted object can be moved using the arrow key on keyboard based on the distance input. Okay, now let me introduce the user interface of this game-changing Proto Details. You are looking at the start screen of the Proto Details right now. Let's check out all the main components of this screen together. We have a pane for the details and drawings macros on the left-hand side, command line and toggle icons at the bottom, then snap options, unit and scale in the bottom right corner. Of course, we have a main menu at the top and a vertical toolbar on the right-hand side. The software asks how you want to proceed with the details here. You can either start manually drafting or let the details be automatically generated. Let's start exploring with the Details tab here. Under this tab, you can see the list of all the possible structure details which can be produced. Clicking on the icon preceding the text expands the list for you to see more details. As you can see here, the member labels are color-coded. Green-colored labels indicate that the member is successfully designed, while the orange meaning the analysis is out of date, and the red meaning that the design has failed. I believe this color-coded tree allows you to easily keep track of the details and manage them in an efficient manner. Let's move on with the Drawing tab now. In this tab, you can a list of all the drawings that has been created and what details that each drawing contains to zoom into a particular detail, then you can simply right-click on a drawing detail and click on Go to Detail option. The last tab here is the Macros tab, which lists all the engineering design macros that have been used and created. If you right-click on a macro, you can see that there are additional options to edit, delete, go to detail, and open the drawing directly. 
Now, what about looking at the tabs of the main menu? We strongly recommend that you review the settings such as layers first, before creating any drawings, because this directly affects the final output you will get from the software. The layers, materials, and member settings are all inherited from the protostructure model. However, you can view and manage them utilizing this drop-down menu as well. On the other hand, the Layers and Text Styles option enables you to control the display settings in this proto-details environment. To reach out and manage more settings, you can go to the Protostructures Settings Center directly by clicking on Options. Basically, to maximize your efficiency, first, check and adjust the settings and start working on the drawings. Now, let's check out all these tabs one by one. The File tab here simply provides you with some commands for you to create a new project, open another project, or save this one. You can rename the drawing file as well and export to other software. This is a generic file menu as you can see. Next we have the Edit tab. Here you can find the simple editing commands listed including Undo, Copy, Cut, and Paste commands. Also there is a Search Text command to ease your job a little. You can simply make a search for any text and all the texts and other items found including your search word get listed. The third tab, on the other hand, provides you with the commands regarding the displayed view. You can manage zoom in, zoom out, or pan clicking on the related command. Plus, you can manage the toolbar options. In the Format tab, you can manage the layers, text styles, dimension styles, line weight, and so on. Basically, you can adjust all the formatting settings through this tab. In the Layers window, you can create new layers, manage the existing ones, or delete them. In order to remove the unused layers, on the other hand, you may use the Purge command under the Tools menu. Also, please note that the information of the layer will only be shown in Layer Settings when the objects assigned under a layer is drawn in the model. In the Layers window, you can change the properties and adjust the visibility of lines. For other properties like text style, text height, font, and opacity, you can utilize the Layers and Text Styles option under the Settings tab. In the Tools menu, you are provided with some tools for arranging the view like bringing an object to the front, measuring the distance and area, and managing blocks and groups. Also, the Purge command I mentioned in the Layers part is here in this menu. At the very beginning of this video, I told you that you can also perform manual drafting with the Proto Details. Do you remember that? Well, the Draw tab here is the place where you can find the commands for manual drafting. You can draw lines, polylines, rectangles, arcs, circles, or insert some texts, images by utilizing the commands provided here. Did you draw something wrong? Don't worry, you can simply click on it and delete. Okay, now let's move on with the dimensions. Utilizing this menu, you can easily insert dimensions to your drawings. Let's move on with some commands that we need for modifying the drawings. 
mirror, move, copy, rotate, scale, and other similar commands can be found in this menu. Let me mention a significant issue now. Sometimes we might make some changes in our structural models after we had created the drawings. We know that it is the case usually. So, we developed protodetails in such a way that it allows you to update the model transferred from the protostructure, update all model drawings, or update the drawings of only the modified part. Utilizing this protostructure tab, you can easily draw a concrete beam rebar schedule, pad footing, pile cap rebar schedule, and slab reverse deflection table. Also, you can manage the project preferences through the Project Header option, which directs you to Settings Center. Now let's talk about the Detail Drawings Manager. This window is the entry point to generate the detail drawings for selected stories with selected options. This window has four parts. Story. To select the stories to be generated. Detail Types is the part where we select the types of details to be drawn. Detailing options is where we can manage preferences for each type of detail. Common options allow you to insert title block, quantity table, model info, and adjust the scale of drawing. And the last part of this window consists of the other options, which you can use to draw the details on separate files, to make all the sheets drawn and arranged horizontally regardless of detail types, and to generate a sheet list. Now let's move on with the design library of the Proto Details. This library provides you with macros, helping you to easily analyze, design, and detail cantilever retaining walls, pools, stairs, retrofit walls, steel facade scaffolds, corbels, pad footing, and pile caps. These powerful engineering modules provide a full calculation report, detail drawings, and quantities as well. All the macros used will then be added to the list in the Macros tab on the left-hand side. Another powerful tool presented in this tab is the Engineering Utilities. It can be used for a quick engineering design. In this window, you will find a concrete cover and anchorage calculator, hook length calculator, which gives you rebar bending, extension, and total hook lengths, rebar area calculator providing you with steel area per meter based on required steel area, unit converter for common engineering units, a tool for simple beam analysis calculating maximum shear, moment and deflection for single-span beams with various support conditions, and hydraulic calculators for both uniform flow depth and gradually varied flow. In addition to the design library, Proto Details provides you with another set of tools in the Detail Library. Here you can find commands and tools to create a new sheet, create beam elevation detail, shear wall elevation, pit foundation, culvert, and so on. Overall, Proto Details is here to automate and accelerate your RC detailing process. You can create detailed drawings effortlessly and export them in various formats. I hope this would be a good start for you to explore this industry-leading software. Want to keep exploring? Well, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and dive into our playlists.